There are four major groups of true plants living today. They include bryophytes, pteridophytes, gymnosperms, and angiosperms. Bryophytes There are three groups of bryophytes. They include hornworts, mosses, and liverworts. While each one is distinct from each other, they have similar life cycles. Bryophytes are referred to as simple plants or lower plants and they are more primitive compared to other groups of plants. Bryophytes are non-vascular plants. Non-vascular plants do not contain a vascular system, meaning they lack vascular tissues that transports water, minerals, and sugars throughout the plant. Bryophytes absorb water and food directly from the environment through their bodies like a sponge. For this reason, bryophytes are often found in cool, moist, and shady areas, however, they can also be found in arid environments, such as deserts. Bryophytes do not have true roots, stems, or leaves with vascular tissues. Instead, they have root, leaf, and stem-like structures. Bryophytes have rhizoids, which are root-like or hair-like structures that they use to anchor onto substrates, such as rocks, trees, logs, soil, and other surfaces. Rhizoids also help to absorb water and nutrients. Since bryophytes lack xylem and phloem, which provide structural support and rigidity to the plant, and they lack true leaves, stems, and roots, bryophytes are small in size and simple in form. Bryophytes are herbaceous, meaning they do not grow wood, and they do not produce seeds, fruit, or flowers. All bryophytes reproduce via spores, and they require water for fertilization. The remaining groups of plants are all vascular plants. Vascular plants are referred to as higher plants. They are the largest group in the plant kingdom and they are more advanced than non-vascular plants. Vascular plants contain a well-developed vascular system made up of two types of tissues. These tissues act like veins or pipes throughout the body of the plant. These tissues are called xylem and phloem. Xylem is used for water and mineral conduction. Xylem carries water and dissolved minerals upward from the roots to the shoots. Phloem is used for food conduction. Phloem carries sugars made from photosynthesis downward to the roots and other parts of the plant. Xylem and phloem provide structural support for the plant, and it allows water, minerals, and sugars to be transported over greater distances to all parts of the plant, therefore, they can grow to be very large and complex in form. In addition to xylem and phloem, all vascular plants have true roots, leaves, and stems, but some vascular plants can lack one or more of these structures. Vascular plants are diverse in size and growth forms. They can range in size from tiny, small plants to large, extremely tall plants, and they can be herbaceous or woody. Pteridophytes The group pteridophytes is the fern and ally group. Pteridophytes are generally divided into two main groups and they include the lycophytes and manilophytes. Like bryophytes, pteridophytes are spore-bearing plants that do not produce seeds, fruit, or flowers. The difference between bryophytes and pteridophytes is pteridophytes contain a vascular system of xylem and phloem, and bryophytes lack it. Pteridophytes all have stems with vascular tissues, and most have vascularized roots and leaves. Like bryophytes, pteridophytes reproduce via spores and they require water for fertilization. For this reason, pteridophytes are also most often found in cool, moist, and shady areas. 
The first major group of the pteridophytes are the lycophytes. Lycophytes include club mosses, spike mosses, and quillworts. Note. Club mosses and spike mosses are not considered true mosses. Lycophytes are solely herbaceous plants. Even though they have a vascular system, these plants are relatively small. Lycophytes are often called fern allies because they share similar life cycles with ferns, however, lycophytes differ mainly from true ferns by leaf structure. Lycophytes typically have microphylls which are small leaves with a single, unbranched vein or vascular strand. The second group of the pteridophytes are the manilophytes. Manilophytes include ferns and allies, whisk ferns and relatives, and horsetails. Unlike lycophytes, manilophytes typically have megaphylls which are larger leaves with multiple veins or vascular strands. In addition to manilophytes, gymnosperms and angiosperms have megaphylls as well. Manilophytes can range in size from just a few centimeters to tree ferns growing over 80 feet tall. Most manilophytes are herbaceous, but some are woody. Gymnosperms Unlike the bryophytes and pteridophytes, which are spore-bearing plants, the gymnosperms are the first of the seed-bearing plants. Gymnosperms are divided into four groups. They include conifers, cycads, ginkgo, and nidophytes. Gymnosperms are non-flowering plants that reproduce by seeds, however, the seeds are naked and not enclosed within a fruit. These woody perennial plants produce seeds that are totally exposed on leaves or branches, where the seeds are borne on the scales of cones. Gymnosperms, along with angiosperms, do not depend on water as a transport medium for sperm and fertilization, instead they use wind and pollinators to transfer pollen from the male reproductive structure to the female reproductive structure. Angiosperms Angiosperms is the second group of plants that reproduces by seeds, but unlike the gymnosperms that have naked seeds, angiosperms have covered seeds. The other main difference between angiosperms and gymnosperms is angiosperms are flowering plants and gymnosperms are non-flowering plants. The seeds of angiosperms develop in the ovaries of flowers. The seeds are also surrounded by a protective fruit. Angiosperms are divided into two major groups. They include eudicots and monocots. Each group differs in several plant features. Let's summarize. There are two types of true plants. They include non-vascular plants and vascular plants. Non-vascular plants only include one group of plants and they are the bryophytes. Vascular plants includes the pteridophytes, gymnosperms, and angiosperms. Bryophytes are non-vascular, spore-bearing, non-flowering, fruitless, seedless plants. Pteridophytes are vascular, spore-bearing, non-flowering, fruitless, seedless plants. Gymnosperms are vascular, seed-bearing, non-flowering, fruitless plants and the seeds are naked. Angiosperms are vascular, seed-bearing, flowering plants and the seeds are enclosed within a fruit. This concludes the video. For additional videos on biological resources, please go to my back bio page.